Same-sex marriage in the presence of a Sikh holy book sparks anger. In Sacramento, California and Punjab, India, um, taking, quote, strong notice of the homosexual marriage conducted in the presence of the Sikh holy book, the Sri Guru Granth Sahib, in Sacramento, California last month, a high-ranking Sikh holy man has directed for the holy book to be removed from the care of the local clergymen who conducted the ceremony. Earlier, the North American Sikhs were directed to trace the person who completed the religious customs in this marriage between the two men. The clergyman who performed the, quote, unethical ceremony has also been some summoned to a call uh, talk, a Sikh high holy site and political institution in Punjab, India, to receive chastisement. Where are all the people who keep saying, ah, Sikhism it seems to be the good religion. We like Sikhism. I was just it's about to say that. Oh, looks like they're not feeding people now. They're <laughs> chastising people for being giving equality. Hmm, it seems like homophobia seems to be a central th theme among many, many, almost all the religions, right? Like, where, where are the people like, hey, Sikhism, where are they? Are they here in the live chat? I want to see them. Um, well, I just want to say how awesome these dudes look in their outfits oh, yeah. in the picture. They look awesome. This is a great couple. Yeah, yeah. I mean they're they're attractive. They're colorful. They're uh, they're their they wedding at, regalia is amazing. But what I find interesting is it's not just that he did it; it's that the book was in the presence of it. Yeah, that's what it's they like. Do. Somehow it's going to defile the book. Yeah, so I actually want to give a shout out to Binary Skeptic because Binary Skeptic helped me write this news because the actual article uses lots of very specific Sikh terminology that I didn't understand. And he helped explain to me some of the issues behind this. So for this holy book, the um, Sri Guru Granth Sahib, it's treated like the living guru. Like if you are given possession of this book, in your role as a local clergyman, um, there's a specific word for it that I'm uh, a, a sarab, a sarabjit. Um, you have to have an entire room for it just in your house. Like it has to have its own room. It is treated like a living being. And part of this is that when you're performing the ceremony, you are taking on the role. You are becoming the guru himself. Um, it kind of reminds me how, like, in when performing the Eucharist, like, the priest is supposed to be taking on the um, the role of Jesus himself and granting this to you. So, um, the yeah, so the, the priest has to take on the identity of the book, since the book is seen as the, the living guru. Um, and it's they treat it so specially that it, it has to be cleansed every single night, um, like spiritually cleansed. You you are only allowed, um, you, you can have to always hold it over your head, even in travel. So I was reading the story, the guy who performs these ceremonies was already getting in trouble because he would perform these ceremonies, destination seek weddings, and not properly travel with the book constantly over his head and apparently it's a huge book that's really heavy um that like even carrying it down a block over your head would be difficult um and um so this guy has gotten in huge trouble for this um i found a letter that i can't read because it's in a different language where like 10 different organizations or local um uh, congregations um, have written a letter condemning him for this, and he has to go all wow. the way. He has to go all the way back to India to receive like penance and chastisement. What is he going to? I don't know because I'm again this. Um, I only have like Catholic language for this, so I think mm -hmm. there is the possibility of him being like disrobed, mm -hmm. basically for my Catholic terminology, lack of a better word. Um, 
but I was asking him because binary skeptic is our resident ex Sikh, um, ex Sikh atheist. And I was like, so what, what is the Sikh stance on homosexuality? Like, obviously they didn't approve of this marriage. Like the, this happening in the presence of this book is seen as unethical and like dirty. Like they removed the book from the care of this clergyman to be like cleansed. Um, and um, so Technically, he was saying, so the book doesn't actually say anything against homosexuality, but um, kind of the main body of Sikhs has declared that homosexuality is not allowed in Sikhism many years ago. So kind of the political body of clergymen um, has condemned it. Their argument was that the book does not condone homosexuality, but that it doesn't condemn it either. Um and he was kind of saying, like, oh, if you go to Punjab, like, homosexuality is seen as derogatory. So there's definitely a big influence from just the culture that's already originating from Punjab, India. Um, but I, I wanted to highlight it because, specifically, people are always lifting up Sikhism as kind of this idealized religion. And I thought that this needed to be highlighted. Hmm. Um. Well, just a quick, somebody is asking, somebody is saying, I wish your shows had like Persian subtitles. Yeah, that's a lot of money. We don't have, that's not, that's not the kind of money we have here, okay? If we wanted to get these videos subtitled. But hey, you can become a patron. If we hit 500 patrons, we're going to translate our videos into Arabic and Persian and stuff like that. Malay. Um, Malay. Um, or or you can go check out our so Persian channel called... Um, yeah, but okay, well, let's get back to the topic. I wanted to mention to people that there is absolutely zero contradiction, a zero contradiction between celebrating these two dudes, okay, and enjoying uh, their clothes and celebrating uh, their life and their happiness um, and enjoying and celebrating and uh, endorsing and loving all other Sikh people and everything good that they do. There is absolutely zero contradiction between doing that and enjoying th these people's love and their happiness. There's zero contradiction between that and taking a giant steaming pile of crap on Sikhism as a whole and as a religion. Ooh. It, you could do both of those things and you're not contradicting yourself. You're not. You're not. You could love Sikh people and you could love um, their happiness. You could love their traditions. You could um, love their happiness and you could celebrate the good things they do. And while the same, at the same time think that the religion is a bull horse crap that needs to end and everything they believe in is absolutely ridiculous and nonsense. There's no contradiction there. And if you think there's a contradiction, that's because you haven't been subscribing to Atheist Republic for a while, so you're more on uh, but it's there's a cure for that you can stop being a moron by subscribing to atheist republic and we keep telling you these things and then you eventually by, by consuming your content over periods of months you be, you go from being a moron to less of a moron and then not moron at all um let me actually highlight this comment here um Matt is saying, yay, we learned that Sikh religion is just as effed up and stupid as the rest. Is anyone here surprised? Um, but technically, no two th ideas could be as stupid as each other, but I allow this. I allow this, but yeah. Um, are we going... Did anybody want to add anything to this? Or should we go to the... <gasps> oh no, next news. Um, oh, yeah. hmm. final statement is if, not clappable. Yeah, not clappable. Not um, if you find any other good Sikh news, send it my way because I want to highlight Sikhism more. Oh, uh, Jim, uh, yeah, Jim is saying so. Should I sub go subscribe on Patreon and unsubscribe here? No, <laughs> here is where you consume our content, Patreon is where you support us, okay? Or you could be a member here on YouTube as well, okay? But again, don't become a patron, Patreon is where you support us financially. And get access to Patreon exclusive content. 
But do not support us financially if you're struggling financially, okay? Keep your money to yourself if you're struggling. But if you're not, consider supporting us. Link to our Patreon is in the description. Or you can become a YouTube member. That gets you exclusive content as well. Uh, if you want to join as a YouTube member, you, right next to the subscribe button, there's a join button. You could join as a YouTube member. Either one works. Whatever is more convenient for you. Um, right. So let me actually close this here. Oh, actually, let me tell you the difference. Uh, if you become a patron, uh, patron, that's better for us because we keep more of the money. But if you become a YouTube member, that's better for you because you're going to be shown as a YouTube member and we get to see your comments more uh, and you get access to emotes. The emotes that people see that they're posting here, uh, like me yelling or Susanna licking the Quran, you get access to those. So if you want access to emotes and if you want your co comments to show up in different colors for us to see them, be a YouTube member. But if you want uh, Atheist Republic to get a higher percentage of your support, then you could become a patron. Both of them will give you access to uh, patron exclusive content. Anyways, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos.